story begins the day that Scarlet Skunk, the town's civic leader, realized that Sixville did not have a mayor. She was in her general store at the time, talking to one of her customers. You'd like to speak to the mayor. Sixville doesn't have a mayor. No mayor. This calls for a town meeting. Yes, I'll ring the bell right away. That day, Barnaby Beaver, head of the power plant, was working on the new dam. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Must be Scarlet calling a meeting. I'll get back to this tree later. Ophelia Possum was busy at her daycare center. We've just got time for one story before the town meeting. Is everybody ready? Matilda Mole was out in the field digging for oil. Ringing a bell. Scarlet's calling a meeting. Good. It's time for lunch. And for Wilbur Woodchuck, librarian, it was business as usual. A bell, a bell. Oh, a town meeting. Guess I better get rested up. I remember that day very well. I was excited about moving into a new town, but I had no idea what I was getting into. Yep, this is the right road. It has been suggested that such an important town as Sticksville should have a mayor. Well, yes, I think so. You're right, kid. All important towns have mayors. Imagine not having a mayor. Oh. Scarlet, are you sure we don't have a mayor? Barnaby, I'm sure of it. Now, what can we do about it? Uh, Scarlet, why don't you be the mayor? Everybody knows you're the boss around here. Not me. I'm too busy at the store. I work all day at the power plant. Yeah. I already have too much to carry. Well, uh, yeah, I, I work all day at the library. Uh, the oil well has got me jumping. Well, we must have a mayor. You're right, Scarlet. But where on earth will we find one? And, and I'm moving to Sixville, and I'm looking for a job. Oh. You know of any jobs? Well, Tarmigan, how would you like to be the mayor of Sticksville? Oh, well, I just got here. That's great. You'll have a new perspective. Well, I don't... Besides, we don't want to do it. Well, aren't you looking for a job? Yeah. Well, sure I am. Okay. I'll take it. Marvelous. Oh, that's great. Hear ye, hear ye. Travis Tarmigan has hereby been appointed mayor of Sixville. Great. Do it, kid. Where do I start? Tarmigan, if we knew that, would we be hiring you? Oh. Well, no, I guess not. is a little home. E e hmm. Well, I'll just build my little home Hmm. 
I am the mayor of Sticksville. Hmm. Hey, I'm not only a mayor, I am the mayor. Hmm, but what on earth is a mayor? Uh, dictionary? Oh, uh, second stack to the right, Tarmigan. There. He helps to decide what is best for the town. Hmm. Well, that's quite a responsibility. Well, I'll have to find out what the problems are before I can solve them. So, I'll start by examining the town. <laughs> Matilda? Right away, kid. Mm. That's it, kid. You're a gem, Matilda. <coughs> Fill her up, Matilda. Right away, kid. Mm. That's it, kid. <coughs> Matilda, do you have any problems? Ah, uh, business is booming. What's that? What's what, Tarmigan? What's that coming out that window? Oh, that's garbage. It's those possum kids. I feel you. Those kids are at it again. Blossom, blossom, and glossom a possum. Stop tossing them. Oh, this is sure a problem. Litter. Oh. It's getting cold up here. Travis, you're the mayor. Can't you do something about the weather? Oh, Ophelia, calm down. Just turn up the heat and jump in a hot shower for an hour. That's what I always do. Jump in a shower for an hour? Oh, I like that. E e. I'm singing in the rain. Just sing in the rain. All that hot water. Barnaby always used his teeth on those trees until Scarlet sold him that chainsaw. And when I went to the dump. Oh, look at all this trash. Wilbur Woodchuck. Yep, this is the place. Anybody home? Hmm. Well, he told me to go on in and look around. Ee, ee. The refrigerator door's open. And the TV's on. Well, would you look at this. Pierre. My parents told me long ago that a young, respectable female like myself could never, ever marry a porcupine. Oh, Wilhelmina. You are listening to W. Imagine using and all that Clinton. electricity with nobody home to watch or listen. This is sure a problem. E -e. Look at this. Wilbur even left his e electric blanket on. E e. Happy again, ya di ya da da da, la di ya da da da. Did Matilda, you love to eat. Uh, Scarlet, I live to eat. You simply must have this new electric food o -matic. Here, watch. There. It blends, chops, mixes, and mashes. You can fix a whole dinner without lifting a paw. You don't say. Perfect for a gal like you on the go. Huh, for a gal like me. I've just run out of hot water again. Travis, you're the mayor. Can't you do something about it? Oh. More problems.
um... Now, let's see. According to these books, my calculation should be correct. But wait a minute. I'd better check that chart. Now, the power plant generates this much electricity, and if we use this much natural gas on a monthly basis, well, and then there's the oil well, well, that's 500% of our energy. 500%? That means it's almost gone! We're running out. Everybody, it's almost gone. Help! Everybody, listen! The water in the dam is getting mighty low. The town and population is continuing to grow. The people need light so at night they can see the radio and TV running the electricity. We're running out. Running low. Now any tall guard don't say it and tell you so. We're using up the oil and we're running out of gas. We must conserve our coal if we're going to make it last. We can't waste it like we've done before. Cause what are we gonna do when there isn't any more? We're running out. We're running low. And when it's all gone, don't say it didn't tell you so. Why well, you don't stop raving mad? Because we're running out of something, Scarlet. That's so absurd. There's plenty more where that comes from. No. Winter is coming, and we've got to save energy. I've got a plan, and I'm going to put it into operation right now. Gee, gee, oh, Tom again. I smoothed out my feathers and got to work. I had all kinds of plans to save the town. Now, children, that's all for our nature walk today. Oh, what's this? A recycling station? Oh! <laughs> looky, looky, it's a garbage truck. Travis, what is that contraption you're riding around on? Well, this is my new invention. It's called a recycle. And let me show you how it works. You put things in up here, and they come out down here, all recycled and ready to go. Oh, it works just fine. Come along, darling. This bird is absurd. A sign. This is for Matilda. There. That should slow him down around here. Oh, this is for Ophelia. Just what she needs. A storm window. There. That'll keep her in and the cold out. Now, if Scarlet accepts my plans, everybody will. Scarlet? Yes, Tomigan. Scarlet, this is for you. What is this? This is my energy conservation plan. Instructions for the whole town. And this, Tomigan, is for you. <gasps> oh, phew. It anyway. Nobody can study in the library, let alone sleep with all that noise. What's this? Why, it's a tail. It's Ophelia's tail. What? It's Ophelia. Ophelia, what are you doing down there? I'm playing possum. Ophelia, what's the trouble? Come on, get up. Get up, dear. Oh, that Travis, he's ruining my life. Oh? He put up that storm window and cut me off from the world. Oh, you oh. poor dear. I've had enough. Well, so have I. You know, he came to my house when I wasn't there. And he turned off my lights. Oh. And he turned off my TV. Oh. And he turned off my radio. Oh. I can't stand for any more of this. No, we won't stand for it. Come on, to the town square. Oh, what's this? A sign. Well, if that isn't the limit, it's that ptarmigan again. He really spoils my appetite. Well, I'm going to do something about this right now. 
We'll take care of him once and for all. Do, 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 do. But what's she doing? Showing off our garbage? Barnaby, Barnaby, this energy plan of Ptarmigan's is for the birds. Scarlet, this calls for community action. We'll have a meeting. Looky, looky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a balloon. It's a bird in a balloon. That's Ptarmigan. I always did think he was a strange bird. Well, I think we've got a lunatic for a mayor. Oh, I call it sick. Let's go to Ptarmigan's and stop him. Well, hi, everybody. I well, stopped at the end of Travis Ptarmigan. Now, you. listen to you me. We won't stand for, for any more of this. Our town never is. That's just what you are. That's the end of Ptarmigan. This is just too much. Are we this one? That's the last process. No, Ptarmigan. We mean it. You. about town trash. Oh! Well, if nobody else will do it with me, then I will by myself. I lost my friends and I lost my job. Oh, it makes me feel so bad. I lost my friends and I lost my job. Best job I ever had. Well, it's the only one I ever had. I was town planner. Now it don't matter. Makes me feel so sad. Insulation, storm windows, weather strip, wood stove. This solar unit is great. It'll store heat from the sun, so I'll always have hot water for my bird bath. Ee ee! My windmill's generating electricity. Oh, I've got my winter coat on just in time for the first snowfall. My plan is working out just great. I wonder how they're doing back in town. I just love this new slow dryer. That's it, kid. Thanks, Matilda. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, much better. Past April yet? Oh no, it's just mid March. Oh. oh, things are going good at the dam, yeah. Lucky, lucky, it's a popper. Oh, 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 
Oh, ooh. oh, somebody pulled the plug in my electric blanket. Ooh. The oil well, it just ran dry. My lights, my microwave, my pop, pop, chippy pop, toaster. What's wrong? There's no power. Imagine out of gas already. Oh. What is going on around here anyway? I can't believe this. I just can't believe it. I run out of gas. Then I off Matilda. I can't. The oil well, it just ran the dry. The oil wells run dry. Oh, Matilda, I, I can't believe what's it. What's going on around here? I just, oh, what's this? Oh, it's Ophelia. The excitement oh. must have been too much for her. Come on, come on, Ophelia. Oh, this is terrible. Catastrophe strikes Sticksville. Oh, there's Barnaby. Barnaby, oh, my Barnaby, power's Barnaby. Barnaby. Yes, yes Barnaby. Barnaby. We have no electricity and we've run out of gas. That's right. The water's so low at the dam that the generator is out. There is no more power. No more power? Oh, oh. You mean there are no lights in the whole town? This is terrible. Didn't somebody tell us once that we would run out of energy? Somebody did. Yes, it was that fool Tom again. A light at Tom again's. He said this was going to happen. That's the I only light in the did. whole town. He also said he had yes, a plan. Yes, you're Sorry, right. We've got to go out yes, him. We'll ask Tom again to involved. help us. He can help. Come on, to Tom again. Yeah, to Tom again. To Tom again. Eee! Toasty! Tarmigan! 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 Hey! Come on out, Tarmigan! Eee! Eee! Tarmigan, you were right. We've run out of energy. We really do need your help. Uh, you... 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 you need my help? Yes. Will you take your job back? Oh! My old job? Come on, P.T., be a sport. Well... Well, oh, oh, sure I will. Marvelous, sure. Marvelous. I always did kind of like Yippee. that job. Hooray! That's great. Tormigan, tell us what to do. We'll do anything. Well, I've still got my plan, you know, and, uh, but it's getting kind of late. Tell you what, I'll meet you in the morning, and we'll go on from there. How's that? Well, I guess they're anxious to get started. I hope they mean it this time. Bye. Travis Tormigan has hereby been reappointed Mayor of Sixville. Yippee! Now, Tormigan, tell us what to do. We'll do anything. Anything. Well, folks, here's my plan. Just listen. Put on a sweater, turn down the heat. Insulate your house, wear slippers on your feet. Put up storm windows, find some weather strip. Shut off the faucet, be sure it doesn't drip. Drip, drip, drip. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I know that we can save energy. Gizmos when they're not in use. Shut off the lights, say drink electric juice. <laughs> Don't drive your car if you can take the bus. Cause saving fossil fuel, we know it's up to us. To us, to us, to us, to us, to us. Yes, we can. Yes.
Gruber. Who's responsible for all this, anyway? Uh, well, well let's see. Uh, the, the original script was funded by a grant from Seattle City Lights and the video production by a grant from the United States Department of Energy. Yep, that, that's right. <laughs>